I'm back. Um, I, you know, just saw this video about um, on a pink room with Miss Shonda. Shout out to her. I'll try to link her below. Um, and I am gonna put this video up because y'all, believe it or not, I do like sometimes, some mornings, my throat is active, and you know, she has shit to say. But, you know, when that discernment kick in, like, oh, all right, going don't, don't put that up. So, I will put this video up. But I saw her post a video, and she talked about it in her pink room, about fit men or men who are not necessarily, um, I guess, fat, if you will, dating plus-size women or being interested in plus-size women. And she posted this video of this young man that was, like, circulating a few years ago. And I think I gave my thoughts then, but, you know, I'm older now. Um, and I wanted to talk on that and I had been saying and I'm still working on it um a book on plus size dating for plus size men as well as for plus size women because I feel like when you fat it just adds another layer to dating that is not necessarily included for straight size people um I know myself I'm not a dater I know I'm not I am a very um I'm a lady of the night honey I have a boyfriend now, but before that, whoo child, I didn't date these men. <laughs> Screaming. I did not date these men. And you know, I just saw some things and some certain people had more in their intuitiveness is very heightened and aware and I'm very heightened and aware. And a lot of these people really didn't want nothing for me and didn't want nothing for me. So there was no point. <laughs> There was no point in talking to them. But, you know, for people who are really out here trying to find a life partner, who are trying to, um, you know, work towards being in a marriage or a long-term partnership, there are some things you definitely should be aware of. And I feel like I can speak on that because I spent quite a bit of money, hundreds and thousands of dollars on my education and behavioral health as well as mental health and substance abuse. So, I feel like I can, you know, talk about that. Like, I wouldn't just be out here writing these books just to be writing them. So, like I said, I wanted to come and bring my perspective about it and talk about some of the traumas, too, that, you know, plus-size people face in dating um, that I think a lot of people don't really take into account, especially straight-size people who are trying to date people who are considered plus size so I do want to talk about the trauma first so a lot of people who are who are plus size people whether they became that way as an adult or have been that way since a child have experienced a lot a lot of trauma around dating around finding a partner it we all know like the very simple ones like you'll have people try to pretend like they like you as a bet like oh I had a bet with my boy I couldn't I wouldn't fuck with a bigger or something crazy um or they're trying to use you for your material items. So I'm only dating her because she got money. I'm only dating him because he got money. You know what I mean? Or, you know, what he could provide for me. And straight size people experience that to a certain extent, but not as heavily as people who are in the plus size community. Um, and then that where is where we kind of intersect. And that's where we meet the intersection of, you know, straight size people dating people who are plus size and how um, challenging it can be to remove those lenses of people trying to trick you or people trying to um, manipulate you or use you um, just because you happen to be healthy. I'm joking. Just because you happen to be, I'm not saying that fat people are not healthy, by the way, for all the people out there. Um, but try to trick you into this because you are a plus size person. And there are a lot of you know work that needs to be done in therapy um with plus size people about we have to kind of let go of those things and really move forward and i'm not saying let go and it means to dismiss the trauma that you've experienced because i myself have been a fat person my entire life so i understand um <laughs> i'm not telling you anything i don't know but until i was really able to really like acknowledge the fact that I really was hurt by some of the stuff that people have done to me because I'm plus size was I not really able to manifest the right partnership or find or attract the right partner because I'm still trying to prove all these people wrong about you know 
you know who I am and trying to prove my worth to people because I'm plus size um there was a very short time in life where I felt like I needed to do that and it was very brief oh my god it was terrible I'm sorry I ever did it but um I think plus size people definitely do struggle with that again this is not just a plus size people per um problem but again it's just heightened because of their weight so straight size people experience the same things but like I said plus size people get it 10 times worse so really like working through that trauma and okay building up that discernment and learning the warning signs and the triggers of people who could potentially try to manipulate you or trying to be you know trying to get a key key trying to be cute um those are some of the things you can work through in therapy with your therapist or mental health professional um and really just have a good game plan and in going into dating that will help you kind of address those triggers and address the trauma that you previously previously experienced in the dating world now since we have told you what to do with that or you know gave you some solutions tools resources with that um speaking to the straight size people who like to slide themselves into the plus size community um looking for a partner or if that is their preference i also would like to speak to you guys as well like let's have a conversation around your intentions of dating a plus size person um are they you know serious or is it just a, a curiosity um is it a sexual fulfilling type of experience that you're seeking um you have to be very clear with your intentions because oftentimes we've experienced so much trauma in the dating world that when somebody is being serious and really like oh i really like you i really want to be with you i don't care what you look like it comes off as like oh this motherfucker lying like shit and <laughs> it most times it usually is when we get that feeling you gotta trust your gut but if you are a straight size person you have to understand that you have to work over unfortunately or work with this person's level of where they're at with their trauma and if they're resolved or unresolved and being very honest and very upfront in the beginning don't try to say you're beautiful at any size you're beautiful i don't care what you look like like really address the issue at hand like hey i really am you know i really love you i really do appreciate um plus size bodies and i feel that they are you know worthy of love and the only that's not the only reason why i'm talking to you and being having an honest, honest conversation about bodies and being very clear about what it is that you want to do um and i think oftentimes speaking to the cis men um and misogyny is not just related to or not just left for y'all unfortunately um but the terms in which you you know talk to a you know plus size woman or a plus size nine man um you know bbw that's a porn category for me i don't like it don't do that i would say a good percentage of plus size you know women community non-men community don't particularly care for that term it's relegated for porn not to describe a person once it has been taken over by the porn industry to describe a certain type of sexual fetish or desire don't then call me bbw i don't like it um i am a big beautiful woman yes but you know the lens of that has changed you know we can't take that away i don't particularly care for that so straight size people don't run around here calling all big people bbws or non-men bbws because they don't particularly care for that also is it a fetish like are you like super sexualized in your view or your lens of plus size women um and non-men like everything does not need to be related to sex like don't hit up plus size men um plus size women or non-men um talking about sex all the time because that also is a trigger for people's trauma it also is demoralizing and demeaning so you know i understand you really love plus size women you want to have sex with them you want to be intimate with them but that's not the way to approach them and that creates more trauma which then makes it harder for straight size people fit people whoever who are not plus size to date people who are plus sized um those are some of the really really big ones 
that I see often and for plus size men um don't fetishize them um don't sexualize them don't um try to use them for your financial gain as well as plus size women i see that a lot a lot of big men are taking advantage of in that way like oh he a big boy he got money he got he eating he got money um and you're using them for your own personal you know bank that's not how that works so you know those are some of the things that i definitely see in a plus size community when trying to date um straight sized people um, and if we really peel back the layers and have that uncomfortable conversation or just have that conversation and be honest about, you know, what it is up front instead of me having to guess or me having to not even ignore the fact that I am plus size and you are straight size. Like, let's have a conversation. How are we going to, you know, deal with this in public and all that? Um, so those are some of the things that I, you will also be included in. Um, the plus size dating guy, you know, like what's appropriate for me. And that's my opinion. Um, and what other plus size women or plus size non-men or men um, have said to me or around me in my experience. So um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you want more of me, you can reach me at AshleySa.com. Um, if you're interested in spiritual services, whether it's tarot card readings or um, prosperity or protection, um, or job seeking services so if you need help getting a job come through um i know it's hard out here for a pimp let me help you help you let me help you help you um so you can go over there and reach me there um that's it so actually said i kind that's where you need to go if you need me if you want me and i love everybody and i hope everybody has a good day bye